Hi everyone and welcome to Get Bim Cafe. So the reason why I create this video is because one of my friend asked me how we can create the as built diaphragm wall based on the information which is given by the their subcon. So actually their subcon provide this uh, Excel file is the CBW aspect data so inside this Excel file we can see one panel two panel three panel four panel so three and five has a different arrangement then two and four will have the different arrangement it's, it's about the, the the point that they given to to them right so basically I can directly use this information and create in the Revit but the problem is that Revit has the uh, space limitation we can't exceed more than 32 kilometer so actually this information is more than 32 kilometer so that after I use that information then the result that I get from the uh, Revit is not so accurate that's why I plan to use the uh, AutoCAD as well so I will explain step by step first what we need to do is we have to get this uh, information to be combined first so come to here okay I started with the CBW B011 dash B02 okay so the thing is simple press equation uh, e equation then uh, concentrate then in this cell then we have to use it comma then in between we need to have the uh, string comma again then comma then this cell cover then we have to close it and this is how we can you know combine this column and this uh, sorry this cell and this cell with the comma after finish then we just copy okay so now we're going to back to the autogate right so this is the autogate I try to create one file then uh, okay whatever Actually, this is a template that we have. We don't really need it. Oh no. Okay. Then, uh, okay. The thing is, those you are not really needs it. We're trying to simplify as we can, right? Then, uh, then we're trying to touch all. Okay, layer should be one or two layers is fine. Then uh, now we go to model space. So what we need to do is we have to come back to the Excel file. Then we have to copy these coordinate points. Then copy, and we try to paste it. So when we paste, then enter. Then we have to right click and paste it. Then close. So enter, enter. What we have is that because of the coordinate that received is 1.2.3.4.5.6 point. So in order to get what I've been is said, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's why things become cross. So what we need to rearrange is that, okay, over here we will make it equal to this one is okay, equal to this one is okay. Then equal to this one is okay. First three point should be same. Come to the fourth one, equal to the last one. Then fifth one equal to stay fifth one. Then come to the sixth position point, have to be number four. So this so this arrangement only then can create the proper rectangle. So I will copy again. Then go back to the AutoCAD, then I will delete it away, then be line again, then paste, then close. 
so this is how we will get it so now we have one rectangle uh, this is the cross section of the the wall so we have to make the same thing to the uh, the same arrangement means P, P, P4 so what we need to do is P2 we just select and copy and go to P4 and we just paste it there so we straight we have it so and this one we copy then come to the AutoCAD again then we align and E then we have to paste it right click and paste and close so we have two panel so what we need to do is we have to create the layers for each panel right so that we go to layer and symbol so uh, we go back to the Excel then we have to use the same name rename okay I will copy this right and go to the AutoCAD then we have to create this is P2 then this is uh, maybe P3 then maybe P4 then maybe P5 right so P2 make it red co red color p3 make it uh, green color p4 make it blue color and p5 make it magenta so try to choose the color that can be seen in the white color background because in revit we still use the white color background this one the apply okay so this one goes to the one this one sorry go to two and so go to four right so we have to make sure to get our coordinate points are correct or not. so to do that i need to check so i have a dynamics block can straight away pick the uh coordinate points so this scale i think is skill oh so sorry before that uh i think is we have to change to I think you need you need change to meter not millimeter so sorry yeah so I have to change to meter first yeah so I have to save this file over here first so e a s b uh wall right okay so now let me measure again this one with this one value should be okay should be point eight so 0.8 meter that's correct this one also should be correct then I'm going to check the coordinate points pick this one then scale should be uh, 10 oh no I think it is uh, 20 uh, sorry uh, scale should be uh, 25 okay 25 is okay I'm trying to place one point then uh, I think it's over here. This one maybe P1. P1. Then okay. Then we see that this value is actually be the this value that we're talking about. So yeah. So this value and this value. Okay. So now it's okay. Then we try to place. I think it's scale. 25 is big maybe 10 will do right then I will insert again or maybe I will copy this one then here we have one point oops uh, undo. Undo off then one point two point four five okay this one is C2 This one is P3. This one is P4. This one is C5. And uh, this one is P6. Yeah. So P6. Okay. Then regenerated RE. Then we have this value. So whether correct or not, we can check it here first. Okay. Put it there. Open Excel and see it. Okay, four nine four four nine. 
and uh, four three six six four. Okay, second one is four nine five four zero point zero seven eight. Then four three six six three point eight seven eight four seven. So here is the same thing. Here is the same thing. Okay, so now we got it. Then we check here. The thing is, it it won't be wrong. So come to here again. So the the six one. The, this is number four. Will be uh six 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 five two zero, then four five one zero five seven, right? Then another one is uh four nine uh, four five one point four one five, and four three six 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 point three two eight. Okay, so it's fine. Then we have to okay this one we try to make it zero layer fine. We will copy it again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so same thing. We have to change it. This one to be C two. This one to be P three. This one to be P four. Actually, you don't type also fine, but I try to show you guys uh, how we make step by step. Then so I'll be P six, right? Okay, so this is how we can quickly create in AutoCAD. This one is a meter unit. This one in real world situation through not orientation. So I will save it. Then uh, we back to the uh, Excel again. Then now we have to create something for the uh, P3 and P5. P3 and P5 is different, that's right. So I will copy maybe this four first. Copy. Then come to three. Try to make it here. Okay, we got this. Same thing. What we need to do is we have to make it one, two, four, three. No, one, two, three, four. Equal to this one is fine. And then equal to this one is fine. We we'll come to this. Then the third one, third position should be this, and fourth position should be this. So come to the arrangement. It's going to be P1, P2, P4, P3. So this is how we can create it. So after we settle it, then we just copy this and paste it to the uh, for panel five as well. Then paste it there. So this is how we get it. Okay, so now what we need to do is this P03, we will copy this information, then come to the AutoCAD, then try to set to P3, then P line, P line E, we use this command, then we have to paste, right click, and paste, then close. Okay, so now go back, go to P5, then go to the Excel again, then come to the P5. Then we have to copy this. Actually, it's just 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 one on the copy. Then come to the order gate. Then P line again. Then we have to right click and paste the information. Then close. Okay, so this is how we will get the diaphragm more uh, setting up in the order gate first. After that, we have to save. Make sure to save it. So now after that we can close it off or yeah just minimize it okay so when we create i mean when we uh, prepare those preparation we should be done outside this uh, uh, previous information area so we try not to disturb the existing one because my dynamo code uh, try to pick up based on that information so if this information plays over here then my dynamo code will be messed up that's why I try to stay away from the this this area right this area actually okay okay fine then now what we need to do we already have the uh, aspect uh, diaphragm wall uh, location then second thing is that we already uh, actually have the aspect information the third one we have to go to the Revit and what we need to do is we have to create a new file click 
click new choose the structure template or construction template whichever is fine then click OK then we have to clean up something so I think is go to the south and level 2 I think is uh, okay before that this analytical line we don't need it throw it away then this level 1 I try to make it as the uh, data data level then this one should be uh, uh, level 1 or ground level ground level it will be the diaphragm or top level right then we try to uh, what we try to do is we have to give this information to be one zero four five zero zero because our topmost uh, diaphragm mode level is four hundred zero four point five zero zero that's why we try to give it that way then come to the side then we have to switch on the switch on the what we call it uh, switch on the side right then we have to switch on the project base point for this timing just just switch on the project base point and we see how right okay so now what we need to do is we have to save then this one call we call it uh, ESP Okay, ESP war, same name as AutoCAD, but this one is in Revit, so I will make it version behind. Uh, this one I'm using version 19, so make it version 19. Option to be 1, and just save. Okay, after we save, all we need to do is we have to uh, link the AutoCAD file that we created before. So go to insert, then link it file then choose this file make sure that input you need is meter then we don't need just make it center to center we do because even we make origin to origin also things will be outside of the uh, Revit space so that the message will surely be appear so just let it be centered then click OK so we will get it over here so we have to choose which point which corner to be at the uh, our project origin so this case I try to make it this bottom most so first we need to unpin oh no, no need to unpin just move from this point to this uh, corner right then that's it then we save okay so now we settle this position we want to lock just lock it so as of now, then our coordinate points is it is zero comma zero. So this point in order to get what it's going to be. We go to order to get, then we try to get this uh, point. Right? Then make it this point. And this point is uh, then after that I will save it, right? Then go to the rabbit again. And I have to reload this get file so that we will get this coordinate points then to check this coordinate points right okay no no, no, no. sorry no, I don't need to check we have to select this coordinate point then we give the same value so value is it now thing is four three six five seven 416 because we are in millimeter right then this one will be 49 four, four, six, one, nine, two. then elevation for this timing uh, okay we make it as uh, okay we just leave it zero first then click okay so the F again and we have it this corner is actually be the same value over here right okay so now what we need to do is we have to save this okay we will create show in 3d also so we have two level one is datum level 0 and one is our wall top level right leave it there save then we're going to open our dynamo 
this is the dynamo that I created for this uh, uh, purpose so what we need to do first we have to click this edit input then make sure to check that uh, hold on, uh, make sure to check that our uh, this uh, generic model uh, template should be path correctly so now this is the correct path after settle what we need to do is we have to run so when we run first we have to choose the excel file so click browse and look for this excel file then open so first we have to choose the sheet number for b02 so select b02 so b02 is actually be the this one okay this one I put aside this is for b02 right this b02 and what we need to do is just this six point is because of b02 and b04 has a six point for the uh, diaphragm or cross section points right that's why we just give six point if if we create b03 then we have to change to four point and this start row also will be changed okay for this timing six point refer to this six point and uh, uh, start row number refer to this row number right so minimize it then we have to set value now we have to choose the layer so in AutoCAD 02 B02 is for this layer so select this and we have to set value so we can see that diaphragm wall for B02 is straight away come out then we can check the coordinate whether is that correct or not so to do that we have to come over to the annotations then spot coordinates then pick the spot points and this is the point this point is actually be this point okay then check it out so for nine four four nine seven zero zero and four three six is four zero three nine so this is correct so we try to create another one another coordinate points to make the corner check the other corner whether is that correct or not. So this one would be the number six p6 so p6 will be the last one so four nine four five one seven seven three and four three six 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 one three five so it's correct okay so now it's settled then we try to create the p4 again right then what we need to do is come to here and run again so it's quite simple first we have to browse the excel file what is that oh okay so click browse the excel file then change to p4 p4 is the uh, one after this right then stay 6 stay 20, uh, 12 we can check over here so p4 is actually here also 6 point and also this uh, the deviation started from the row 12 so still same then we have to set so this time make sure to select the p4 so that uh, application this code will pick up the layer cbw 0011 p4 then set then we will have the another diaphragm more over here okay so now here so we stick and check the coordinate point then this corner is also p1 whether is that correct or not come to excel and see how whether okay p4 click p4 then check the first corner is uh, 44494473.345 and 44659.621 right so it's correct elevation is automatically set so we can see over here so we can see that this is 14104550 and total level is 79.030 it's actually be here uh, here so this one 79.03 and 
and one zero four point five zero this is the toe level and uh, uh, head um, top level right okay so now we're going to create the uh, three and five to do that we have to run again then we have to pick the Excel file again pick the Excel file right then this time change to p3 then this row uh, number of point for diaphragm wall is not six this one is four because of here you can see that this is just four num four point only and even this uh, deviation starting information also from the row number 10 so what we need to do is that we have to change six to four and row number 12 to 10 then we have to set then this time make sure to choose the right layer for the panel then set so you will have the one one panel in between it then you come okay we can come here and we can set this coordinate points and check it out again whether is that uh, correct one or not okay this is three minimize it so okay so the first okay corner is this one four nine four four eight five three eight then four three six six one eight three eight okay so lastly we're going to create the uh b05 run it then change the uh, sorry path the excel file again change the uh, sheet name to 05 and this one should be 4 and this one should be 10 then set this time we have to choose the uh, b05 layer then set okay so now we have this p5 so what application create is that each uh, panel will create the one family one two three four so there's no choice we can't we can't combine in one types so we have a thousand panel then we uh, application will automatically produce the thousand types of our panel family for each right so after that what we need to do is we have to create a schedule then this schedule will be the generic so we try to choose a generic model then we just give the family name so family type is fine so we just give the family type we can have the volume right other than that we won't get anything else or maybe count we don't need it then yeah that's it then we click ok then we can have the uh, congruent volume for each panel so this is how we can you know easily uh, generate the aspect diaphragm wall model by using the uh, subcon aspect information and from that information we will we try to create the autocad uh, those are aspect orientation in autocad then from there we use dynamo to create in the uh, Revit so first thing is that uh, AutoCAD file should be in meter why we use is because of the software uh, Revit space limitation that's why we can't straight away uh, create the uh, geometry from the Nautin and Eastin I tried it before but I didn't succeed because of uh, the object creation is actually be the outside the 32 kilometer so that information is inaccurate that's why okay uh, this is how we can quickly uh, create with the dynamo right so now I'm going to show you what I have created that uh, dynamo code so to do that we click that and we have to edit this right a little bit uh, not really that complicated but uh, yeah but, okay let's see how so this is the one 
oops okay there's the one right so we have to start from the end okay so to create the geometry you need to use spring package so before we uh, move on I will show you which package I'm currently using right so manage we can see over here I use actually in this code actually we I use spring notes so spring notes currently I'm using one uh, okay here 132.2.8 because the dynamo version that I'm currently using is 1.3.3.4 I haven't stepped onto the 2. Point something yet right so this is the code that I have it so when I put it on I have a lot of code but uh, mainly what I use is uh, data shape I use this data shape to come out the dialog box to let end user to import things then I use string right then other than that the rest like uh, are I mean coming from the uh, system if I'm not wrong let me check it out yeah I think it's geometry translate also from the system then and another one I'm using is uh, this is called uh, BIM BIM often notes really good for converting from CAD to the Revit you know we can use those uh, CAD geometry as a baseline and create something in the Revit so I'm using BIM phobia this is a BIM phobia let me see this I think it's BIM phobia correct yeah BIM phobia is the one yeah who which uh, can work closely with the uh, Revit actually with Dynamo then this is the these are the data shape package data shape is really useful to produce the user interface kind of things then user just input only right then yeah nothing more than that I suppose actually another one I just wanted to introduce is that uh, genus this one also quite nice basically I use uh, Generally, uh, Aki, oops, sorry, Aki Lab, Bakery, Pim Often Notes, Clockworks, Data Shapes, Dynamic is not really using yes. Dyna works also not really. This uh, genus really good. Lunchbox, it's the bands. Rhythm is I really use it. Then this Spring I use. Steam notes I use this one is my own one actually I really uh, not not producing my own I just uh, you know I get some notes from the others then to combine as mine so that uh, my workflow will be easier the last one Zugo uh, Zugo often this one also quite nice so yeah basically I use those notes I think it's I maybe mean, over is good when you create these cable trades or dark or something right I will introduce the another uh, video uh, making you know uh, demonstrating how to create the uh, cable tray three layer four layer cable tray in one goes how we can create the one yeah it's quite good you can use it right okay so now back to the code right so we uh, try to show you okay so this is actually be the uh, user input so user input when we run a code first thing is allow end user to select the exe file so this is the one that I'm using the second thing is the sheet name and the default one the one then after that number of uh, time from uh, the points for each time from all section and 6 and 12 is actually be for the uh, you know how to to grab the information from the excel right so this is the thing then from there we extract out this the excel file so from the excel file from the from the path that we choose 
then from the uh, selection names that we import then excel file those informations from excel file will be appear over here so we try to transpose it to have so each column has uh, one groups of lists right so this one is a uh, uh, list 0 list 1 list 2 list 3 list 4 list 5 list 7 let's say something like that uh, yes I know yeah some something yes correct something like that right so this one and this one actually we initially I I uh, extract from the Excel and directly created in the Revit but because of the space limitation I can use it so beyond this line I'm not extracting from the Excel what I extract from Excel is there's a few guys only right so then from there we have to bring it the uh, okay first one is to uh, collect the lines from the AutoCAD then we have to list it out how many layers do we have then in the demonstration you 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 replay back then you can see that uh, this AutoCAD list will be appear based on this list then each, uh, those group of geometry and uh, those uh, layers will be selected then from there from those layer then we try to create a curve in the uh, dynamo then after that those uh, close uh, uh, those four lines or six line and we try to form to the polyline curve then this polyline curve will be goes to the uh, before we go because we only have the one outline from this outline we try to manipulate based on this uh, deviation and based on this height so this one will be the z value this one will be the x value deviation this one will be the y value deviation so we try to translate the geometry from one outline to become too many outline so here we can see that this one is uh, for the uh, you can see that this one is for the reduced level that's why I let them go to Z transition then this is the this is the okay let me bring it over here this is the X this is for Y then those information from the tables are in centimeter centimeter that's why or centimeter I trans uh, transform to the millimeter that's why I multiply by 10 then for reduced level the information that given by Excel is in meter that's why I try to transform the millimeter so also in millimeter then beyond this point we will have the you know each profile at each level from 104.5 all the way to 79.03 so we have a 27 uh, outlines from that 27 outlines then we try to uh, create the uh, like a create this uh, what a solid by loft so one outline to another outline one outline to another outline that to form the solid then the solids after that we union it then later on they use the use this uh, code to create the the 3d model that we have this model when we create this model then this family types automatically create for two three four this name will be automatically create because in dynamo code oops in dynamo codes in family name I just give the name same name as sheet name so this sheet name I just give it a, give it for the name right then uh, this is the category category we choose the geometry as a generic model then material name just give whatever name then we can we can 
can assign it later on so whether it's a void or not we have to give information then this template we have to use the uh, this generic family template okay so not 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 this one this one is actually be under C program data Autodex Revit 2000, RVD 2019 family template English and generic model we have to straight away link to this uh, family template right then this family will become out so come to conclusions so this is the data input and this is the uh, expression uh, like a Battle outline. Oh, done. Banner. Create create banner outline. Outline. Through. Ah, uh, this. Select that. link okay uh, selected uh, geometry uh, what we call it okay line lines oh. uh, true selected lines selected elements element slash line Oops. lines from selected layer layer of link file okay so we have to create a panel outline through uh, lines or elements from the selected layer of link file then after that this is the some kind of transformation uh, this one is something like uh, uh, what we call it uh, group and this one make it this and create create multiple lines outlines according to this to according to the base outline According to uh, deviation info, Excel data DA, DA. Okay, so after we got one outline, then we have to uh, extract the uh, deviation data from this and manipulate it then over here become a 27 outline so from this 27 outline then we form this uh, solid by loft and after that we create so this is the creation parts uh, this one will be the final Final result. Uh, uh, generate. Generate the final result. Okay. So this is how. Okay. Final result should be green. Uh, and this is how we can create it. 
so basically uh, a few group there this one I think is try to make the different colors first actually we have to uh, generate the final result to to finish this uh, final result we have to get some information from the geometry which is you know originated from AutoCAD and some from this Excel this is the Excel uh, extra information from Excel this one is uh, info from Excel data right is uh, from there not just this and this one also yeah actually is is part of Excel right so this is how we can you know create this node so we try to uh, nicely create then yeah this one should be here we leave it then this one should be here and this one should be something here and this is coming over it and yeah this one is some kind of uh, transition process and this is the final result and save and close and close then we have to uh, shade it and we try to show in tile view so we straight away get the information what we want and yeah try to touch up something right when you have the total then click total then we try to formulate uh, using the total only and there we go okay uh that's all for now and yeah see you in next video bye bye